this family lives on the plains and in the open woodlands of Africa, from the Sahara Desert to the foothills of Mount Kilimanjaro. African wild dogs. Wild dogs are communally hunting carnivores that live in small, tight-knit packs. Within a pack, all the males are related to each other. The females are also closely related, though not necessarily to the males. That's because females migrate into the pack, whereas males usually stay in the pack where they were born. Only the highest ranking male and female breed. Families have up to 40 members, including the dominant pair's offspring and a number of non-breeding adults. For most of the year, wild dogs are nomads, moving from place to place. But once a year, the pack stays put to rear its young, occupying the same den for two to three months. And all the members contribute to feeding and protecting the young. The most striking aspect of wild dog society is the friendly relations between its members. When hunting, they communicate to each other using high-pitched squeaks. They run among the wildebeest herd to split them, trying to spot the young and the weak. They have the stamina to run down and exhaust their prey. Although they're under constant threat from other predators that steal their food, the pack has impeccable table manners. Even when the whole pack is crowded round the kill, there's very little squabbling between the family members. Adults may grab a mouthful, but as soon as the pups arrive, they're allowed to monopolize the carcass. So, these wild dogs really do put their pups first, even if that means going hungry themselves. <laughs>